Welcome back troglodytes to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglies Guitar Show. When it comes to Gibson guitars, I've seen a lot of stuff, but even this one threw me for a loop. I thought I'd seen everything, but then I was sent this thing on my Facebook page. Now, it's not because it's a double neck in a white finish, because people like Steve Clark, Don Felder, and Alex Lifeson have used white EDS 1275s. And in fact, I've just recently reviewed a EDS 1275 that was a signature for Slash. These things are amazing guitars. You don't realize just how powerful you're gonna feel while playing these things. Now, do I suggest buying this $13,000 one? No, not unless you're a rich collector, but there's definitely a really cool allure about these instruments. Instruments. So it's not a fact that it's a double neck. It's not the fact that we have the Gibson prehistoric logos on these things. And this time, it's not even the fact that this thing has a Kaler on the six string. For this episode, just take a look at this. <laughs> I have never seen this done on an EDS-1275 before. Not only does the six string side have triple humbuckers, but so does the 12 string side. Just in case you've never seen a double neck before, this is what they normally look like. So you got one humbucker up here and one all the way down here. Now, I had never physically thought before that, huh, there is a huge space right here. You could put more pickups in this thing if you wanted to, but I had never thought it had been done before. But here we go. Apparently there was a limited run where this does exist. And it could be yours today on eBay for $6,988. Now you're gonna notice the seller Fun Japan product. You're gonna wanna switch over and watch this video to learn a little bit more about this seller. This guy does not actually own this guitar. In fact, if we go over here and copy this and go to eBay and see what else is for sale, you're gonna see this guitar listed for sale at various price points by a bunch of different dealers. These are Japan guitar brokers. You don't have to fear them. So now that we have Sticker Shock down at the $7,000 price point and are amazed at the sextuplet humbuckered EDS 1275, let's go ahead and dig into this thing. First off, it is from 1986. So not only is this a six humbuckered guitar, it will have Tim Shaw PA. AFs. So each of those puppies is worth at least, at least $200. <laughs> so 246, $1,200 worth of pickups just right there. The 12 string size has a traditional bridge and the regular tailpiece that you find on these guys. And the six string side is crazy enough to have a Kaler on it as well. This one definitely has a Steve Clark vibe, but apparently his 12 string had mini humbuckers. And upon a closer look here, it almost looks like Gibson's shortly lived slim bucker. And what makes this one start to differ from other double necks, well, besides the six humbuckers, is take a look right here. Now I'm a little bit backwards on the twin necks because the Slash EDS-1275 is the only one I've ever touched, and that one had the electronics like wonkered. So in this case, this little toggle switch right there, I believe selects which neck you're on. But this guy right here is your pickup selector switch. Now typically, when you find a chicken head knob on something, that usually means five positions. But since there's no photos of the guts of this thing, that could be a multi-position thing. We're talking like 10 positions. So at the very least, it probably has the Stratocaster type of layout. So you have a neck pickup, neck middle position, just your middle, middle bridge, and bridge. But if it is a 10 position, you could also have in and out of phase of all these. You could have coil splits on them. This thing's definitely the king of tone if you like to tinker. So those are the main features of this guitar that make it special. But was this a custom order or something? Cause that's what I initially thought, but then I saw something that made my jaw drop. On the back side of the headstock, I expected to see this, but I did not expect to see this word. I thought for sure we were going to see custom shop original, meaning it was a custom ordered one off. But it's saying edition means this was a limited edition run and there's more than one of these beasts out there. Could have been a small run of five. I'm not really sure. I've never ran into these before. But man, if you ever tried to play this thing, good luck. I've had terrible experience with this style of tuners from this era. They always pop off the back and then you gotta replace them. I would hate to have to replace 18 tuners here. So yeah, apparently a double-necked EDS-1275 stock with six humbuckers and a Kaler 
complete with Mother of Pearl Gibson logo and split parallelogram inlays, is a thing that you can find in the mid 80s. And that's why I love the 80s Gibsons, because there is so much freaky stuff that you can find. It's always a treasure hunt, and a lot of it is uncharted territory. I've tried my best to document some of these things, but this guitar is just a monstrous abomination that I love. And just because I'm curious here, I want to know who's actually selling this guitar. So let's see if we can figure out what the true price is if you buy it directly from Japan. And it looks like we might have had a little bit of luck here, potentially. Whoa, that thing's cool. Cobra Burst. Oh, man, this is becoming a different Wyron right here. Sometimes you can find some cool stuff looking in Japan. So this... Wow, nice. So it's kind of like my Blackout Custom with the black Mother of Pearl Gibson logo, but then they give it a uh, 54 Les Paul Custom vibe because it has the staple pickup. That would definitely be a guitar I would be interested in. Cool. Honestly, I thought it'd probably cost a little bit more than that. But here, it looks like I found the original listing on Digimart by a Kirusawa Musical Instruments. So if you go and buy direct, it's about $5,500. Now that's with tax and everything included that you don't have to pay as an American buyer or if you're outside of that country. But usually the shipping charges, it about evens that out. So you're looking at about five and a half thousand dollars to own that, which honestly, it's not that bad for what it is. A limited edition with six pickups in it. I'd honestly say that might be a deal. Question left, would you rock the sextuplet humbuckered EDS 1275 or not? Leave your answer down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.